horrific shooting tragedies in America today, leaving at least 27 people dead. In the first senseless attack, a gunman opened fire at a shopping centre in El Paso, Texas. He killed at least 20 people and injured dozens more. Traumatised survivors fled or hid where they could. The alleged 21-year-old gunman surrendered as soon as he was confronted by police. Tonight, they're examining a so-called manifesto of hate published on the internet as investigators try to work out a motive. Rob Scott begins our coverage. At a busy Texas shopping centre, the sound of a massacre. Shoppers suddenly targets. Busting guns in Walmart right now. AK, somebody's got shot. Run, we can't run. People in fear for their lives, running after a gunman opened fire. Hurry up, run out that way. Security cameras had caught him walking into a Walmart store, armed with an assault rifle. Outside in the car park, bodies were seen lying where they'd been shot. Shopping carts became stretchers for the injured. There was confusion. Over there, where the fuck is there? The cops are there. Going into lockdown as armed police responded. The first calls coming in just before 11 a.m. local time. And then I hear, boom, 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 boom. We all run out of the McDonald's. I talked to another guy that said he saw somebody shot in the head. The center had been crowded with thousands of back-to-school shoppers. Multiple fatalities. And several people that have been transported. Children, including a four-month-old baby, among those rushed to hospital. The death toll, heartbreaking. Twenty innocent people from El Paso have lost their lives. With 26 people injured. Oh, I want to just find my mom. Somebody needs to tell me where she is. I want to know if she's dead or alive. But the alleged gunman ensured he wouldn't be among the victims, surrendering as soon as he was confronted by police. The person that was taken into custody was taken into custody without incident, and no law enforcement personnel fired their weapons. Identified as 21-year-old Patrick Crucius, Dallas. Right now we have a manifesto from this individual that indicates to some degree it has a nexus to potential hate crime.